We're now going to be exploring in some detail weak acids. Most acids are weak. And when we say a weak acid, we mean that it's not even close to 100% ionized. For a weak acid, we would write an ionization equation with the two-headed arrow. And we could write what's called an acid dissociation constant, which we symbolize Ka which is simply the equilibrium constant written for this equation for a weak acid. As with all equilibrium constants, we write products over reactants. And recall that in an equilibrium constant, we don't write a pure solid or a pure liquid, only aqueous substances or gaseous substances. And for weak acids, all the species are aqueous, so we have the two product species, the H plus and the X minus, the anion, in the numerator, and then we have the neutral acid in the denominator. If a weak acid has a large value of Ka, check out the equation on the right side of the screen here. If Ka is large, that means that these concentrations in the numerator are reasonably large. If Ka is small, then the concentrations of things in the numerator must be relatively small, which means that the acid hasn't ionized very much. We don't use a Ka for a strong acid, because with a strong acid we have essentially 100% ionization, which would leave at equilibrium 0% of the unionized acid, and so a Ka value for a strong acid is going to blow up to a very large number. So we generally don't talk about Ka values for strong acids, only for weak. Now this equation is for the percentage of a weak acid that is ionized, and it's essentially the H plus ion concentration at equilibrium divided by the original acid concentration, and then multiply 100 to put in percentage form. For organic acids that contain only carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, any donated hydrogen was connected to an oxygen, not to a carbon. Let's take two examples. This one is formic acid, and you can see in the formula it's got two H's. Well, only the one that was connected to oxygen is possibly going to be donated. And because this is a weak acid, not even 100% of those H's are going to be donated. When formic acid donates a proton, it's this one here on the right, not the one on the left that is connected to the carbon. Here's another example. This is malic acid. There are several H's in malic acid, and if any of them are going to be donated, it would be these two here, the one on the left of the screen and the one on the right side of the molecule. This one up here, we won't worry about that one for now. Let's just pretend that one isn't there. These two are the H's that could be donated. There are two H's that aren't shown but are assumed and understood to be there, and that would be right here where these two X's are. There's an H connected, you might think, above and one below this bond right here, because this is a carbon atom right here at this joint, and carbon, of course, has four bonds. So one bond is shown, another bond is shown, and then the last two are connected to H's unless we show them otherwise. Those two H's will not be donated, only H's that are connected to oxygens. Let's try this problem. We've got some niacin, and there is the structure of a niacin molecule, and we want to know what percentage of the acid is ionized and what the Ka value is. Firstly, this is the H that potentially could be donated, not these four that are hanging around the outside of this benzene-like ring. There are four hydrogens here. They are not shown, but they are understood to be there and because they are connected to carbons, they will definitely not be donated. So the one that must be donated 
would be the one on the far right here. And of course, because this is a weak acid, not very many of those even will pop off. Let's start with the definition for percent ionization. We can calculate the numerator of that expression because the hydrogen ion concentration at equilibrium we can find by taking 10 to the negative pH. I trust that you have covered that in earlier studies of chemistry so I'm not going to go into detail on that but that's how you find the hydrogen ion concentration if you know the pH you take 10 to the minus pH. The denominator is simply the original acid concentration which is 0 0.02 put that in percentage form and you have 2.7 percent ionized. You can see that this weak acid is not even close to being 100 percent ionized. The second part of this problem wants us to determine what the Ka value is. We're going to set up an ICE calculation and of course ICE stands for initial change and equilibrium. Now I don't want to write the formula out for niacin nor for its conjugate base so I'm just going to write the word niacin and conjugate base I'm going to put a little minus here and as long as we keep straight what we're doing there's no problem in doing that. The initial concentration of niacin is 0 0.02 we're going to assume that the initial concentrations of the H plus and the conjugate base anion are zero the niacin concentration will go down by some amount. The hydrogen ion and the conjugate base ion will go up by some amount, x. So at equilibrium, we have 0 0.02 minus x for niacin, 0 plus x and 0 plus x, which of course just simplifies to x for those two. And then we need to somehow determine what the Ka value is. From our given information, we actually know the concentration, or we can figure out the concentration of the hydrogen ion because we were told what the pH is. And so the value of x is actually right here, 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth, which means this last line in our ice chart which is what we use along with Ka simplifies to what I've written down here three-fourths of the way down the screen. 0 0.02 minus 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth gives this value right here 0 0.01945 and there's our 5.5 times 10 to the negative fourth and there it is again. And so the Ka value is simply products divided by reactants. Well we have these two in the numerator and the 0 0.01945 in the denominator and we can calculate the Ka value for niacin. Let's summarize weak acids, Ka, and percent ionization. A weak acid is nowhere near 100 percent ionized. There are only seven strong acids and there they are. So most acids are weak. Two. Donated protons can never have been bonded to carbon atoms, only to oxygen atoms. 3. In earlier studies of chemical equilibrium, we met the equilibrium constants Kc, Kp, and Kw. In this lesson, we met Ka, which is simply the Kc for the specific case of the ionization of a weak acid. As with all equilibrium constants, Ka is expressed products over reactants. And four, the equation for calculating the percent ionization of a weak acid is right there in yellow.